A pitchfork tool trader is live scalping the Nasdaq 100 index. A pitchfork tool trader is live scalping the Nasdaq 100 index. All right. Good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, good morning, good day, good night. For those of you who are new to us, uh, we are the TSTW uh, 24 uh, traders. For Pitchfork Tool uh, uh, Trading, our website is www.dprotraders.com. All right. I want to sell a Nasdaq 100 for scalping purposes on the edge of uh, this uh, Pitchfork Tool. What I'll do, I'll color my Pitchfork Tool into green. Uh, so you may see on my chart. Okay, that's the green uh, Pitchfork Tool here. And I want to sell it... Uh, uh, after this candle is closed, okay, so we, we are now on the, uh, in fact, I will change my time frame, I'll go to the uh, five minutes, okay, now this, I'm now on the five minutes, okay, uh, I will sell it, uh, I will place uh, orders here to sell just below this candle here, so if the prior reaches this level, my order will be filled at 4443 to sell, okay, the Nasdaq hundred index for scalping the, uh, purposes. Okay, Ooh, okay. By the way, how do we draw the pitchfork tool? All right. As I explained to you, if you want to know more about pitchfork tool trading, subscribe to Day Pro Traders YouTube channel. All right, or visit our website www.okdayprotraders.com. All right, and click on pitchfork tool trading. All right. So three point we need uh, to draw a pitchfork tool. By the way, the professional traders use the pitchfork tool. They use the pitchfork tool to highlight, okay, high probability day trade, high probability, okay, a swing trade, all right? But, but because I'm on the five minute time frame, I'm not making my decisions on the five minute time alone. This is a common trading mistake. If one is trading or if you find yourself scalping on the family time frame for the sake of scalping on the family time frame alone is a mistake you want to find first okay a trading setup on a higher time frame and then you come to the okay the lower time frame like one minute two minutes three minutes or five minutes okay to scalp trade okay all right so don't think that uh, I just come to the five minute time frame and I selected three point one two three to draw my piece for two and uh, just selling. So anytime you want to sell on the lower time frame, anytime you are scalping on the lower time frame, you must have, okay, a solid reason from a higher time frame why you switch from that uh, a higher time frame to the lower time frame to scalp trade. All right? But I will explain to you in this video why I decided to to place order, the order is not yet filled. I decided to sell again in Nags 100 at 4443. Okay, if the price close back below, okay, the tail of this candle here. All right, I'm now on the five minute time frame. Okay, all right, all right. But remember, talking about the foundation of the train, all right, the reason why I'm scalping, all right. I must have a trading setup. I will show you now. Okay, so I saw an extending triangle on the weekly chart, all right, of the next 100. So you can see that the price went down, boom, 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 down, all the way here. And then it went up one, two, three here. The ascending triangle is not yet completed. It's been formed. Repeat, it's not yet completed. But the price is at the upper end of the of the ascending triangle. But because as a multi-talented trader, I understand also the area wave, in particular the A B C D E chart pattern. That's what I say to you. The triangle is not yet completed. So we have only the one, two, three. There should be another one down four, and then another one at five before you count them all, all right? So, repeat, all right? So, the price at the resistance zone, the resistance, which is the upper side of my ascending triangle, okay, you see my ascending triangle is the red triangle here, 
this is the top of my extended triangle. My approach is to trade. I have a many lines that I don't want to remove now. Uh, maybe I should remove. Uh, okay, I leave them like this for now. Okay, so we are at the top of the extended triangle, and uh, because the prime went up from here to this level, trader will be prepared to take some profit. See, this is a kind of a conversion point before the prime will try to come back down again, step by step. So this is my trading setup price at the key level. Okay, a resistance or because you see it was a resistance before. People saw it here, you see, it went up to this point, and people saw it here. And if you pay attention to this candlestick bar on the weekly chart, you see that the price opened here, went all the way up here, but some people saw it. This is a bearish zone, all right? So, because of that reason, because people saw it here before, it's a resistance zone, and the price now in the same zone, around a key level, around a resistance zone. Now, you see, this is my trading setup. This is the reason why... I'm switching to the five minute time frame now and I want to sell and my order is about to be filled. Look at it, it's coming up. Look at it yourself, zoom into it. Come on, come on, you see? Come on. All right, okay? Don't talk to the chat because the chat will not listen. All right, now order being filled now, okay? It touched the boom, that's it. I'm in this trade at 4443. Nice one. So you see, so I have a reason why I come to the five minute time frame now live trading using the pitchfork tool. All right, that's it. So the pitchfork tool, you see that the price went up and it came down. Okay, so for traders that are new to the pitchfork tool, price went up. Okay, and then pull back like this. Okay, a little bit like this. Okay, so the three point that we are using is first point. All right, up. I move the line. That okay. All right, I can live with that one. Okay. Normally, I don't like to move my line. You can straight that are following us know that uh, I don't change my chart very much. I leave some of the line. That is a key level because professional trading around key levels. You want to know where are the key levels. So price goes up from A to B. All right. So first point, second point, A, B, and then price pull back a B to C. So with these three points, we can draw a pitchfork too. So you see here, it went up all the way up here, and it came down. So I have three point one, two, three. But because we are at the resistance zone, I want to sell, and this is on the edge of the media line of the pitchfork too. But look carefully, my friend, talking about live trading. Trader always ask me, how do you enter the trade? Or we are, there are many ways we can enter the trade. There's no a single formula that we can say to trader. If it happens like this, the, the most important thing that you can understand, if you want to enter the trade, a bearish trade, we want the price to come to us. So we don't want to support you, you want to sell. Don't just come because it's reaching the edge. Just don't just sell here. Remember what I said before. This is for scalping purposes. So let me clarify that quickly before I continue with uh, this discussion about uh, entering a trade. Okay. So for a scalper, we are looking for tiny profit. Quick and fast, tiny profit. We don't want big profit. We want to be in and out. All right. So I need to keep my eyes on this train. Uh, if I get uh, twenty people, be great out of this train because scalping. Even ten people for scalping is a lot. Okay. But I'm a little bit greedy scalper, so I'm really looking for at least twenty peeps out of this train. Okay. So if it come down, okay. All right. To the level of uh, somewhere here. Yeah, four, four, two, five. I may come out, okay. So the point I want to clarify about entering the trade, which I was talking to you before. So why am I selling here? Okay, you can see that uh, after the three point that we have to see one, two, three. Stay focused. All right, the price start going up. Okay, it was going up near the media line, but because I know that I have a trading setup on the weekly chart, I know these are resistance of the level of four, four, five, three. It's a resistance zone. Look, the price, look, it went exactly to 4451 zone on the edge of the pitchfork tool. But I don't want to just jump on here and say, you're going to go down now. I'm selling you and you must come down. So remember what I said to you before. Don't be the first person to sell and don't be the last person to sell. So you want a big market player to sell first and then you sell together with them. All right. If you want to buy. You don't be the first person to buy and don't be the last person to buy. Let the big market player to sell 
and then you sell together. So this is why that's this is the reason why I place my order here to sell instead of selling on the edge here. Now that you see it came back down, who forced it down? Somebody was selling here. So they are the first sellers. Now I'm joining them here to sell. Now I'll place my stop loss above somewhere here. So this is just to one example of entry trade. But remember also what I have done. You see this candle here. So price went up. Okay, you see here it went up with this tall candle. So some people quickly sell it here. This 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 are bearish candle. The, the dark green this are bearish candle. They sell it here, but didn't go down very much. So some people push it. Why my my candle are changing uh, pattern like this? Okay, now then then it went up a bit. You see it went up a bit. To the edge of uh, my uh, uh, the media line of my pitch for two, all right. And now, okay. So uh, the, 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 my intention is that if it close back below, okay, this candle has changed. Yes or no? Change. Okay. If it close back below the tail of that candle, I want to sell also because somebody is selling on the edge of the pitch for two. I don't want to be the first person to sell. I want the big player to sell first. Then I join them here. Okay, this is why, why I, sell, I sold it. All right. The advantage of using uh, the pitchfork tool is that professional using pitchfork tool is a powerful tool and it's also a tool that is not violating the market pattern. It's showing at uh, 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 channels and, and it's, it's, it's uh, about the price itself. That's, that's the beauty of the pitchfork tool. What I have noticed, okay, in fact, myself, when I was a new trader first, I never used the pitchfork tool. All right, I spent most of my time with the stochastic MACD indicators, but the pitchfork tool is a powerful tool. We can use it on a higher time frame to detect a high probability trade setup. We can also use it, okay, on a lower time frame to time our entry, okay? All right, so this is what I'm doing here. So, because the price at a resistance zone, and I see a lot of bearish chart pattern on this family tab, double top, double top, and also a flat correction before me yesterday. Price jump up this morning to go back to the top. People are selling, come down. So I have one, two, three. If they are selling, if these are sellers in this zone, okay, they will like now that it rally up a bit after the market open, they want to sell again here. So what the price did this morning, so by the way, today is the 21st of October 2015, and the time in London is six minutes past four p.m. In New York, six minutes past 11 a.m. All right, live recording using Pitchfork tool. Okay, now, so you see now, you see why? Okay, uh, I, I'm I'm using the Pitchfork tool. Okay, to time the market accurately. So what the price has done this morning, the price went up, and then came back down. But look, it went down below the the opening price. So the opening price today is somewhere uh, here. But as you can see, it gap up this morning. All right, so gap up big time straight away, boom. All right, and then continue to go up all the way here. Now people sold it down even to below the opening price, uh, the closing price of yesterday. The closing price of yesterday is four four three eight. All right, now price start going up again. So we want to check now whether this is a rally in a downtrend. So you see this move down. So we can now. We can go on because we are talking about pitchfork tool. We can also use uh, Fibonacci now. So you see this move down and then a rally. It's a retracement. So price went down from A to B. We apply the Fibonacci retracement. The price rally up to the 61.8% Fibonacci extension, Fibonacci uh, retracement zone of this move from here down to this level. This is, it went up back to the 61.8%. Traders will use now. After they, they recognize the Fibonacci estate, the Fibonacci investment at 61.8, they will set a target, okay, using the Fibonacci, okay, uh, extensions. Here it is, the Fibonacci extension, okay, all right, somewhere below. Uh, they will expect it uh, to go down at least to 138%, uh, okay, Fibonacci extension zone, which is somewhere. Uh, if I, you see now I'm on a five minute time frame, if I go to 10 minute time frame, you may see here, uh, other, you see here, these are the line here. Okay, so the, the 100 is here, and the 138% Fibonacci extension is somewhere uh, near the level of, uh, okay, 4420. But I'm, because I'm scalping, 
Remember, as a scalper, we are looking for tiny profit and it's coming near my target in a zone of 4425. So, a bit more and I'm out of this trade. So, there is a big difference between a scalper and a day trader. So, you want to know what are you doing? So, I can scalp, I can day trade, I can swing trade. So, when I'm scalping, I must adopt what? The mindset of a scalper, which means quick and fast profit. High probability trade, looking for discrepancies, looking for, okay, uh, all right, abnormalities, and then I take advantage of it very fast, and I'm out. Okay, that's, how, that's what we are doing. In and out, precision. A scalp lab must be precise. Your timing, you don't have room to, have, to use a bigger stop loss, and you want to pinpoint when the price is about to go down. As I told you, don't be the first to sell, and don't be the last to sell. Let them sell and join them. And then in, out, as you can see, it's coming down nicely. And you see, it's, since we enter, it's working beautifully, yes or no? All right, using Pitchfork tool, I allow me to pinpoint the best place that I know exactly what's going on here. So they sold it here and uh, on the edge, and I joined them here. I was not the first to sell, okay? I don't want to be the first to sell. I don't want to be the last person to sell. I just want to join and flow with the market without fighting it. Too much fight, okay? I'm tired of fighting. My friend, are you tired to fight the market? Okay, all right. Okay, you see now? All right. So here it is coming here. That's it. Okay. Four, four, two, five. Isn't it beautiful? Nice and easy train. All right. And with, so remember, you are looking for tiny profit. All right. And also you want to use tiny stop loss. You see, traders are coming out now. You see here? Near the four, four, two, five. Okay. All right. I'm out of this trade now. Okay. I'm out of this trade now. Okay. That's enough. Okay. Quick and fast profit. What I have said to traders, in fact, uh, I recorded a video this uh, morning. In fact, I'll put uh, the link in the description session for you. And the title of that video is uh, a scalper. Okay. All right. It's a live scalping. Okay. Uh, the NASDAQ 100 in this. Okay. So check it out in the description section. I will put it there. Sometimes if you are the first person to watch the video, you may not uh, see the link. So come back again and check it out and I'll place it there, all right? All right? So one thing I say also very important for scalping, my friend. In order to scalp, how the professional scalping? Watch that video that I call a scalper. is live scalping the next that hundred. Even if you trade stock, even if you even if you trade currency or you trade commodity, don't be afraid to watch other videos. Okay? Sometimes they say I trade currency, I watch all this currency video, but you can learn other strategies relating to commodity and apply it to your forex trading. Okay? So what I was saying to traders was this. Okay? A scalp, the, the professional scalper or the specialist scalpers, okay, if they are selling a financial instrument, suppose the market is open, they start selling uh, XYZ stock, they will sell it the whole day. All right, why? Okay, and if for instance they are buying the next 100, they will buy it, okay, the whole day. Why? Remember, is they are catching, okay, the short-term trend. So there is a flow. Suppose the flow is bullish, all right? The wave is bullish on a higher time frame. So they want to catch the short-term cycle, okay, that align with the, the bigger cycle. That's This is about scalping. So suppose we receive a bearish economy news and the market responded and started selling a financial instrument. Support the earning news bearish, so we know that everybody wants to sell it. So you want to scalp it now, okay? So you go to the lower top frame. Are you going to buy that day? No, you're not going to buy that stock that day. You're going to scalp and you're going to be selling. So some people will push it up a bit or people will take profit after selling. It bounces up a bit and you want to sell. So you are flowing with the bigger flow, okay? <laughs> All right? It's going down, isn't it? So you are just selling it. You are not fighting the trend. You are not fighting the flow. The flow is selling the whole day. Sometimes you will see after major economy news, traders are trading for us, uh, sometimes uh, a currency pair may go up the whole day, okay? Just going up, going up. So the professional will adjust themselves on the lower time frame and they want to just take a bit, a bit, bit, bit by bit profit 
and they will keep buying because the flow is bullish. So the reason why I'm saying this is that it's so important for scalper um, to to identify a flow, a bullish flow, so to speak, or a bearish flow, and then you go to the lower top there, you are catching that flow all day long until the the flow has stopped. Is it making sense? All right. It's all to do with the market stable data or the market patterns. Okay, the higher time frame command the lower time frame. A trend is a trend is, is about to begin. You will see from the lower time frame first, and then you will expand to the to the higher time frames. All right, but for every trend, all right, for every flow, so to speak, there is a source. So every river or every lake have a source. Okay, so the source is the one that is giving. Okay, the lake. So you may see the lake. You may be swimming here, but there is a source for that lake or for that river. The same thing for a scalpel. We want to know the flow. Is it bearish? All right. Or is it bullish? Okay. If you know that the flow, the source is bullish, all right. <laughs> Let's put it like this. Okay. Too many lines. I will remove some of them. All right. If you get tired, if you, if, if you have any comment, okay. This is the time. Okay. <laughs> put some comment about my drawing. All right. So. It allow you also to call to focus more and uh, follow my cursor so if it's going up okay so the flow you know the origin is bullish it is going to go up now we are on a lower time frame taking advantage of it every time it starts going to go up a bit we are taking it up a bit a bit a bit a bit until it reaches the top and if the flow stop we come out we don't we don't play it anymore so if you see a flow that is buried, it's going to go down. You know that the source is buried. We are just on the lower time frame, concentrating you know, on selling, selling, selling that financial instrument because the flow is buried the whole day. This is about scalping. But a lot of traders, a lot of scalpers don't understand this. <laughs> they don't know how to do it. So the mindset, that's why we say to traders, you buy TSW24, talk to us, ask questions, ask questions. Okay? Ask questions. Even after two years, ask questions. You can always email me, ask questions, okay? So, what is happening? You want to develop the mindset. So, this is about scalping. You want to day trade, you want to adopt the mindset of a day trader. You want to swing trade, you want to adopt the mindset of a swing trader. But the mistake that ordinary scalpers are doing, they go, so they are trading the euro dollar, okay? Unless we have a balanced market, this is about the market stability. If we have a balanced market, the price not going anywhere, it's flowing up and down. We can flow with it when it's going down, and we can flow with it when it's going down. That's a different matter. But we are talking about a trend being developing, the flow is going down or going up. It's a real a best time for scalping. Okay? But a lot of ordinary scalpers will go, so they sell the same financial instrument, and then they buy this information, and then they buy it, and they sell, and then they sell, and then they buy. And they end up, at the end of the day, they will lose. Because they don't they didn't see the flow. So you will see a trader will make a bit of money when London is open, then New York is open, and they give everything back. Or they are they, they have one winning trade, another winning trade, and then they have uh, three losing trades. And then they, they are not a winning trade, and then two losing trade. Now, no, no, no. But if you you can identify the flow, you can know how to play it, and you can just add it, add it, add it. And if the flow has stopped, you just stop. Okay, that's enough for me. So you can see that this was a successful trade. We're talking about a pitchfork to trade out is live scalping next hundred. As you can see, very fast. I enter here at four 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 three. Okay, using my piece for tool, and it went down quickly at 4425, and I'm out of this train, and I continue to talk to you now. Quick and fast profit on the short-term trade. Why am I selling? Because I see a pattern on the higher time frame. It's more bearish. The price at a resistance zone. I want to flow with it. So now I sold it one time. You see now? I sold it one time now. I can wait here and look for another opportunity where I can sell again. And I can just sit here doing that all day long until the flow has stopped. But another thing I need to mention is that as a scrapler, what are you looking at? The scrapler uses stochastic MACD RSI, but your eye must be on the price. You see how I enter the trade? You want to watch the candlestick bar and what's happening and to know when you should come in. And again, if you are scalping, use limit order, like I show you now. Don't go, that because you can come to the edge and that's place order here to sell. 
When you are doing it, you are forcing it. You are forcing it. You lose. You can lose. All right? you, 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 because it touches, you say, okay, I will sell on a family time frame. It's a resistance. No, no, no. Place limit order below. And if it's going down, the order will be filled and you are in. <laughs> All right? So if, if, for instance, my order is here, like I show you here, 4443, if the price continues to go up, I'm not in the trade. So I know that, okay, it's going up. It's not going to go down. It's going up, going up. But work on it, okay? You watch it now. Maybe you understand it clearly. You like this video. But now, okay, the challenge, open a demo account. Don't throw money at it. Open a demo account. And now sit down with, uh, okay, piece of paper, market open, and do it for one day and see, <laughs> is this thing working? Am I getting there? If you're not getting there, keep working on it. This is it. Keep working on it. Keep working on it. Keep working on it. If it's not for you, well, uh, there are better things people can do in life, okay? So, that's it. If you like this video, please uh, give us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, please give us the turn down, okay? If you love it, feel free to share it on Google+, Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook, uh, all right? If you love our video, feel free to subscribe to our video. There is uh, a link uh, in the description section so you can subscribe to our YouTube channel so you may watch uh, more tutorials, okay, and improve your uh, scalping. All right, this is the end of this video about uh, a pitchfork tool trader is live scalping the NAXA 100 index. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be uh, very happy. We are the TSTW24 uh, traders talking about a pitchfork tool trader is live scalping uh, the NAXA 100 index. Happy telling to you all and uh, speak to you soon.